Hey, hey, beautiful people. It's Thursday. It's pretty outside. It's sunny. It's a little warm. It's kind of been a little too hot the past few days, but hey, it's still kind of nice weather. Just hot. <laughs> so, let's see. What do we want to talk about today? Let's talk about work areas. I don't know. Uh, I've been hearing some stuff here and there. Um, one thing that gets to me is other people that have the same job title as other people want to be so demanding and controlling and bossy to other people that have the same job. Why do you do that? I don't, I don't understand. I mean, if somebody needs help or doesn't know something because they ain't been there as long or they don't, they're not as knowledgeable about something, you know, help them. Yeah. But why do you treat people like children that does the same job you do? Because it makes no sense. And if you're working as a team, why are you going to blame one person instead of, I don't know, sharing the blame? Like we kind of, at my workplace, we work as teams, basically teams of three or four, uh, two sometimes. But you work as a team, basically, and you help each other and you look out for each other. But if if one person does something wrong and none of y'all catch it, that's a team effort. Y'all all miss something together as a team. So if you if if your boss man says something to you, even if they're not jumping on you for it, they're telling you, hey, you need to look at this or you need to fix this because most of the stuff is fixable. It's time that's taken. Don't sit there and throw somebody else under the bus because you don't want to be in trouble or you don't want your name up on it. If you're working as a team, guess what? It's your fault too. So don't single somebody out because guess what? That person you just singled out is going to resent you for that. So next time you work with them as a team, guess what? Y'all are going to have some resentment in between that little teamwork you got there and guess what it's not gonna be that pleasant so work as a team don't throw somebody else under the bus because you don't want your name in it knowing that you were at fault too that's just stupid just like the line thing i mean it's no different than line i hate and i mean i hate liars i mean if you do a little white lie here and there okay whatever oh yeah that looks good oh yeah no okay i understand that I really do if if whatever I mean I personally don't do it if somebody's gonna ask me if something looks good and it don't look good I'm gonna tell them it don't look good because why the hell would I tell them yeah yeah it looks good why would I tell them that and then they walk around looking like an idiot like that don't make any damn sense tell them the truth sure you don't want to hurt their feelings if I mean if it's in one of them situations and I mean they're not gonna look bad then sure, whatever. Make them feel better. Me, I don't do that. But I'm not going to say it to where I'm going to hurt their feelings neither. I'm going to be nice about it. Be like, yeah, but we can go find something better, girl. Like, yeah. Don't do that. Don't don't go and lie about shit. Like, I mean, just ball face lies is what I'm talking about. Like, uh, saying you're friends with somebody you're not friends with. That is the biggest thing I see. As you get older, people pass away. Like my sister, I love her to death. She was 26 years old when she passed away. And she was loved by many and had so many friends. Because she was an awesome fucking chick. But guess what? When she passed away, I had people come in to me and other people. And, oh yeah, we were sisters. Bitch, no, I was her sister. Uh, she wasn't even friends with you, but you want to go around telling people you're friends with her now that she's gone and can't defend herself. That's fucked up, man. Like, that is really fucked up. And she's not the only one I've seen. I had another friend that passed away from a, a different situation. And I've seen a few people say they were friends with them that they never even hung out with them. They never talked to them or nothing. And I mean, sometimes the person even talks shit about that person because they were mean to them or whatever. Don't go and lie and say you were friends with somebody because you want sympathy. Guess what? 
You don't need attention off of lies. You need attention off of being real and living a, a fucking life that gives you attention or whatever. I'm not an attention hog. I don't, I'm not going to go lie. Because guess what? I had a few people do that. And I mean, it hurt and made me mad all at the same time. I'm telling you, like that feeling was awful. Having somebody come to you telling you, oh yeah, she was like a sister to me and, and we could talk about anything and we were just so close sitting there thinking, okay, well, she told me this and she told me that. So you're telling me that she didn't like you. You were mean to her, straight up mean to her and told her she had to do this or that or this is a big one you act like you were better than her because you knew something she didn't or you knew a different field than her or whatever it may be but it doesn't change the fact you treated her like she was less than and she told me this shit but yet you still went around telling people you were best friends and this and that and knowing it's a lie. Lie. Because other people knew it was a lie too. You just trying to get sympathy and get attention. It's it's shitty. It really is. But I could give two shits because guess what? I know the truth. She knows the truth. God knows the truth. <laughs> Still doesn't change the, the truth at all. Because guess what? It still didn't make you any closer. It still didn't magically change the past. No. All it did was call you out on a damn liar. Because guess what? Just because you might know a field better than somebody else does not make you better than them. Not even remotely. Because all of us are the same. God made us the same. The only difference is... Everybody is given, given choices. It's up to you to take them choices and go somewhere with it. If you are envy of somebody else because they took the choices they were given and made something out of it, that's shame on you. If you, if you want something, go do it. Don't, don't treat somebody else like shit or think that you're better than them or hate somebody because they took a chance on something that you didn't. Because all of us have the same opportunities. Yeah, some people grow up with less money than others. And some people grow up a little bit richer. You're still given a choice to, to take your life to the next level. Because guess what? There is plenty, plenty of wealthy people now that came up from nothing. You want to know how they made it? They worked their fucking asses off for it. And they made something. And they made a name for themselves. You can do the same thing. Yeah, it takes hard work. Yeah, it takes time. But guess what? You can do it. You just got to try. And guess what? You'll make new friends. If your friends resent you for it, so what? You're going to lose friends and you're going to make friends. But I bet you anything, if you work your ass off for something, them new friends that you make are going to respect you. They are going to be there for you. Them are the ones you need in your life. Don't give a shit about them liars or the ones that think they're better than you or the ones that look down on you. You don't need them. Because guess what? They ain't no better than you. They just think they are and they got a big ass head. But normally, them are the ones that have fake friends or they only have a few friends and they talk shit about them behind their back. So... I would rather be friends with somebody that I truly like than somebody that's going to sit there and talk shit about me because I took a chance that they didn't. But you're all given the same choices. You're no better than nobody. So be friends, man. Be happy. Fucking do you. If I mess up, guess what? I'm going to take the blame for my mess up. If somebody else messes up and I don't catch it, guess what? That's still my fault because... I didn't pay attention enough to catch that. So, work as a team. Work as friends. Go after your damn dreams. Take that chance that you're so scared of. Don't be scared to take that leap. Do not. Do not be scared to. Because 
regrets are way worse than taking that leap and failing and getting back up and trying again than never taking that chance at all. Because if you never ch take that chance, you, you don't know if you could have or if you couldn't have because you never took that chance. So you just got a re regret instead of a failure or accomplishment. Guess what? Failures is what makes you. You will learn from that failure. So next time when you take that chance or the next time you do something, you get better at it every single time. So no matter how many times you fail, get back up and go do it again. You got this. You're strong enough. You got it. You just got to try. Well, I'm going to jump off here. It's been a minute. So I hope y'all have a great Thursday. Like it. Comment. Share. Like my page. Go Life Bathhouse Legends. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.